Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to edit your photo uh, in the best way in Lightroom or Photoshop uh, I normally using. So the best way to uh, edit your photo and upload in uh, social media like uh, Instagram or Facebook in the high quality and the best uh, quality image. So normally if when you upload your photo in social media it's crapping and you lose uh, the quality of image so what we are doing so just uh, edit and um, it's some small sitting in uh, Lightroom you have to do it you have to cut the photo the exact same size in, in Instagram and Facebook so otherwise you lose your quality of your image so I just show you this photo I just taken by uh, my camera so let's see all this photo I just took by my camera so it's very sharp and still you need to edit and it's too big like if you can't you can upload it like this in, a, in, a, in social media so what we are doing we have to cut the exact same as as uh, Facebook or Instagram made it so what we are doing we open the Lightroom so I just going to open the Lightroom if you are using you know the Lightroom so normally everyone know so for example, I edit this photo, so I choose another photo. I edit exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, for example, let's let's work on this photo, okay? So when you open your photo, you have to go on here and this is original. This is original, so we have to code it on this four x five. On this size this is the exactly size for Instagram and Facebook in high quality so when you choose that one it looks like coming like this one and you have to just just like this uh, where you need it you just want to put a little bit here a little bit here press enter so now we have to a little bit edit just a little bit to make uh, the photo looks good not too much uh, A bit I normally do like this just the light on the on, it's gonna be on light on just on focus on that on the bed so uh, A little bit illustration as well, uh, sharpening as well. Okay. You see the very noisy photo around here. If you see, look very noisy. Yeah. So we can fix this one in easy way. I'm just show you right now. Because most of photo you're taking by your camera, your shaking your hand and your camera is shaking so sometimes it's not sharp enough so we can fix all this noise in just a moment so for example you need you, you're happy with this one edit the way you want it so you just happy like this and export export your uh, your photo and choose where you want to export it okay 
you see I just export it and now I'm gonna open this photo how it looks like uh, this is that photo we just cut it so I'm gonna sh open this one with uh, this beautiful software um, yeah this one look this noisy and now it's, it's gonna be gone okay you see I'm sharp as well this software is just unbelievable you see how not too much yeah it's, you see all this noise is gone you see just in one clip and then we saving okay we save here we save here and now I'm gonna open my Photoshop because I want to put my logo in in the photo because I can do that in, in Lightroom as well here I can put it in my logo here as well but it's not a very good option and, it's, and also it's not a high quality so I can, I'm always happy to open with Photoshop uh, to do this. So where is that photo? Here. You see that photo? If you are not happy, still you can a little bit. It's too dark, so I can a little bit, uh, uh, just a little bit uh, more light on the on the photo. Just a little bit. Yeah, like this okay now what I'm doing I go my open my my logo my signature I made it You see it looks awesome yeah I uh, just a little bit the color is a little bit more yeah it's gonna be a little more clear yeah like this and then I'm going to build all the image you see now is my photo is ready to upload on social media so what I'm going to save this one save us on uh, uh, make sure to save jpg it, uh, it says do you want to replace it yes okay now it's save it so I'm going to open and just make sure this uh, the photo exactly I want it yeah here you see now the image before and here you see is big different so now when I share this photo on social media the Facebook or Instagram doesn't cut my photo so I don't lose any any quality of the the photo so I just open my my open from now from the the first time when you open Google and just type in Instagram when you're going open in Instagram and just open normally like this and right click and 
choose this one it's so and then go on here and just refresh it yeah it's like this and then now it's a plus icon is here so you can uh, share that photo on Instagram so I just want to open that photo we are just made it you see and then next then choose location uh, just uh, I take this photo in Gold Coast Australia uh, yeah and then when you if you want to tag something for example I want to tag uh, Noon Canon photography and then I tag Canon lens 7200 yeah and then now uh, I tag I, <coughs> your photo is best quality and high quality so this is the best way you can do it you can share your photo in Instagram or Facebook Otherwise, you can share it in any different uh, way, but the best way is like this one. Every photographer know that. And if you want to share your photo, the best quality and the best option, this is the way you can do it. So edit in Lightroom and cut it and put your logo and, and share it like this. And you can tag all this. Uh, company or canon or names you know the more you tag the more you view come on your photo so i i hope you like it if you like my video if you like the way i add it uh, please like and comment and let me know if you like it so every everyone is different every photography is different so everyone the same way or you know uh, so everyone is different opinion but <coughs> if you like it this video if it's helpful if it's helpful for you please let me know in the comment and I will share another tutorial for the same uh, things for video in Premiere Pro so how to make a video in high quality in the best way for Instagram as well or uh, another tutorial for Instagram story or Facebook story uh, as well uh, I hope you enjoy it and like it and thank you for watching and see you in the next video